guys welcome back to my channel today is february 16 2018 so now i'm very nervous it's kind of mixed feelings that because i'm going to have a um ll let's procedure so you so that's what i will have a procedure i am going now to the doctor to do um some operate i mean surgery what you call that like just a quick one so hindi naman talaga yung ma patutulogin ako and still like awake and parang ding pap smear ang way of surgery so yun so i'm kind of nervous excited na para matapos na to guys kasi it's been parang last time kinansil nila yung appointment ko and now it ito na it's happening today friday so i am off now from work so hindi ako nag work ngayon cuz i need to do this so yan guys share it's kind of good na it's gonna happen so yan i'm here with my husband so we're gonna go to the uh, park doon sa Modbear Hospital. So, andito kami sa T3 Plaza. So, we have to walk. There's a road work. So, yeah. Okay, guys. See you later when I'm done with my procedure. Wish me luck. Hello, guys. So, I'm waiting for my prescription. Prescription? I'm <laughs> so, I'm still waiting. We have to wait. 15 minutes for the cephalexin and so for tagalan kind of boring guys i'm here in the clinic bumalik kami agad kasi pinapunta kami dito so yeah look at that so kala namin tapos na hindi pa pala so, pinapunta niya, tinawagan ako to sa pinap pinapunta niya ako. Guess, para nawala siya for like 10 minutes. Okay, so nan Okay! Galing kami dyan. <laughs> Jan to renew my license. So, malapit lang yung hospital at saka yung renewing of my license. So, magkalapit lang sila. Nandiyan lang sa kabila yung hospital. Tapos, nandiyan yung sa license. So, it's really good that I can do everything in one today. So, hindi ako na 
work today because of this thing that I'm doing right now. So hopefully in the end it So anyway, so I got the get my new license and then I have another one now. Ta-da! So they gave me a paper, a paper license. So after March 25th, midnight, I will be full license. Yeah, hey! So doesn't make any difference anyway, kasi wala na naman akong ano. But so pwede nang ano ba? What's good if you're a full license? Oh, I can have one glass of wine and drive. Uh, yeah, that's it. Cause uh, sometimes my friends told me to drink, but I can't. Cause I'm still in my peace. So now I can drink probably glass glass of milk. <laughs> and if you get speeding fine or yeah, so something like that, you get another chance. Yes, I get another chance. And what else? That's about it. So hopefully. I ako sa 26, 25 of March. Na walang violation, but so far in my two years of driving, so good. Wala naman akong violation. Don't have any violations from speeding to this and that. I sometimes hit my car, but it's alright. I escape from that. <laughs> so yan. So I also changed my middle name. Guys, you know, in the Philippines, we have to change our middle name when we get married, so it's kind of annoying. Because I don't have any documents to show them, so they just follow my passport. And now, so I have my new passport with my middle name now. My maiden name as my middle name. So, at least my, ano ako, pinakita sa kanila. Because I want my documents to be um, consistent. Because I don't want to have a problem soon with my citizenship and sort of like that okay so that's it so we're going now to the um why not go straight where are that going to Eddie. so we're not going to um ingo farm shop camera please <laughs> oh we have a seat belt that's where our seat belt first bye bye in the farm shopping summer guys so we went to the hospital for my um lads procedure so yon i was there and yes that was the lads procedure and it is a large loop excision of a transformation zone. So, no nagpapaps miracle, they found out they have an abnormal cells that would lead to cancer. So, yun yung very like shit moment. <laughs> so, that was really not like a great feeling na ano, na may ganun ka, di ba? Because I was really um, confident na walang magikita sa aking cervix or something like that, but they found an abnormal cells. And there's a stages of like that before on cancer. So there's a sin one, CIN2, CIN3, my precancerous, at chaka yung cancer na, which is, which is ayo natin nun. So I am in the middle, I am on the sin 3, which is a high grade one. So the doctor told me that I need to have this operation. Or a surgery that will um, remove this um, abnormal cells. So, pag sin one daw, uh, you can just ignore that one. Sin two, it can be cure. I mean, do the treatment, or it can be ignored as well. So, as akin, it was sin three. So, it's kinda you can't ignore that one because if you pag 
it can be um, lead to cancer as well. So it can go away or it can be a cancer. So of course the doctor wants to make sure and that it will not lead to cancer. So of course I don't want to be to have a cancer as well. Hello. So yan. So yung nangyari bigyan ako that's the let's procedure. So it is really good na nalaman as early as possible because um of course you want to be um be normal at like walang mga ganun sa ano di ba sa, sa sarili mo you want to be like cancer free or something it was um na i don't feel anything that time so parang because mere injection so para injection parang kerot lang maliit lang na kerot but nothing really they're very good doctors here and they're friendly so i will show you my no not my cervix but i saw it in the monitor so nakita ko yung aking um cervix opening so it's kind of it's i don't know it's like gross lang pero okay lang because at least you know what's in it so example ito yung cervix so dito ne dito yung ano kinuha yung cells so dyan so may leeg something like that mm. so kinuha nila yung tissue just to make sure na wala at tapos parang binur nila yung tissue para mag shrink or something yung mga abnormal tissues ay parang kinuha naman nila yun para mag bumalik sa normal so parang sinunog nila para wala na ring bleeding at ano pa so yeah so sabi ng doctor if you want i want to be to have a ano daw a baby parang it's kind of it does makes your cervix weak because of this procedure it can meron daw ang possibility na magiging weak so they need to have another ano again um another check para I-check na naman nila kung nawala na ba yung abnormal cells. Yung mga babae, they should have checked earlier. Um, yeah. Because the earlier na na ano mo yan, na kita, yung na may ano ka na pala pre-cancer, you can prevent it. So, prevention is better than cure, guys. And it's gonna be more expensive if my cancer ka, di ba? Kasi with all the, um, you know, um, what procedure or chemo, you know, it's gonna be worse. And at least now, na agapan, chaka. Yeah, I'm still young. I'm still in my early 30s, so hindi ko akalay na magkakaroon ako ng ganun. You know? Because, yeah, I feel that I'm healthy. I'm going to gym all the time, so it doesn't really, um, say, doesn't really, um, mean na wala kang cancer that you're free diba na wala kang sakit so even your boobs or even your cervix or everywhere so hindi natin alam so mas ano nga magpa check up go to the doctor kung may pera ka if you don't have medicare of or something like that then yeah check everything like your blood so i just know na i have low vitamin d so hindi ko alam yun sa pilipinas because i didn't have any check up there so, dito, I have, like, general checkup. So, nag-check ako ng dugo ko. Okay lang pala yung calcium ko. I thought you will have low calcium. So, okay lang pala. But I have low vitamin D. I have low potassium. Something like that. So, at least you know na anong kulang ka. So, so happy with everything na yung ano health system nila dito sa Australia. Because, you know, they're helping. They're not, like, there are more ano sa health, you know. They took, like, they look after people that are sick, you know. For sa akin, na may nakita silang ganun, tarang, parang minomonitor nila ako, binibigyan nila ako ng letter, or kinocall nila ako. So, kaya pala may mga call sa akin. So, hindi ko kasi, hindi ko kasi, ah, hindi ko kasi, hindi kasi ako nag, uh, ano, nag, what do you call it, nagre-rip, yung sumasagot pag no caller ID. <laughs> Kasi sometimes it's like, you know, yung nagbibenta or something like that. But, yeah. So, nai-receive ko yung letter. Ano na pala yun na times na gusto nila akong mag, ano sa, ano ko, GP. 
mapunta sa GP. So, so after my pap smear, kasi daw, it's either pag wala daw result, they will not really call me. Pag okay yung normal. So, I was just like wondering, merong letter na nakita nila na urgent. So, urgent daw. So, pumunta ko agad doon sa aking GP. At yun na, yun na, may nakita sila na abnormal cells which is the sin three. And so, palagi lang kong, ano, um, yeah, it's a time that, you know, you need to be prepared for yourself for the worst. But, thankfully, uh, thanks to God na hindi naman worst talaga na pwede pang ma-cure. Hopefully, girls, it's, you have to open your mind, especially if you're married or you're sexually active, ganun, that you have to look after for yourself and yeah even if you're not sexually active you still go and go find a doctor or mag ano kayo basta mag always check always do pop smear every two years because it will help it will really it will change your life like me so you don't know what's gonna happen in your future so yeah, I don't want to live longer, you know. Dramatic effect. So, yan. So, yan lang, guys. And I'm not sad. I'm a happy person. So, let's all be happy, positive always. And peace. Thank you for watching, guys. Hope to see you soon. And I'll give you my update. Probably soon. Kasi hindi pa naman. It's still, you know, bago pa. I just had my operation. So, hope you enjoyed this vlog and hope you learned something, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.